Hey YouTube, JJ Georgie here. And today, what I am going to be showing you is, well, a lot of you um, might have saw my jailbreak video, if you haven't seen that. Um, it's, I showed you guys um, how to jailbreak uh, the iPod Touch or iPhone on Green Poison. Now, a lot of you might have been facing issues where you haven't had an icon or you haven't seen an icon prompting you to download Cydia. So this is what I'm going to be helping you with today. So, first, what I'm going to be doing is, let me just, okay, as you can see, what you're going to want to download is iPhone browser. And now you're going to want to download that off of the internet. So as you can see again, iPhone browser. Once you download that, all you got to do is click on it. And you'll get something that looks like this. So once you get this, and it says folders on your iPhone, it can be on your iPod Touch or whatever. So you're going to hit VAR. From VAR, you're going to go down to, let's see here, you're going to want to go down to mobile. From mobile, you're going to want to go down to library. So again, you're going to go to VAR. So you'll see VAR. Then you're going to want to go to mobile. Once you hit mobile, you'll get a bunch of these going down. And then you're going to want to go to caches. Once you go to caches, you'll get things over on the right hand side of the page saying com.apple, com.apple, everything like that. So I'm going to open something up here for you guys. What you're going to want to delete is a file on that page called com.apple.installation.plist. Again, as you can see there, com.apple.mobile.installation.plist. Once you find that on your... Um, once you find that, you should, now I already deleted it, so I can't find it here. But once you find that, you're going to click it and delete it. There should be a little thing you're saying delete. And after you delete it, you're just going to want to reboot your um, iPod or iPhone. And you should see on your browser pages, you should see um, a white icon prompting you to download Cydia. Once you download Cydia, um, I guess everything's good. Now, if this doesn't work out for you, um, I don't know. I guess you're going to want to do some research. But um, this is, I had the same problem, and this worked for me. So, hope this works for all you guys. Thanks for watching. JJ Georgie here. Subscribe, rate my videos, comment. And, yep, yeah, see you, YouTube.